actually just moved to Vegas. For you, I do it all. a terrible angle but we are at our first stop and uh, we were hungry and we needed some snacks so we got Tim Hortons and neither one of us have ever had it before so we're gonna show you guys everything and let you know what we got and we've already done almost 300 miles so yeah so let's get all right so we got a sandwich to try is the turkey bacon club we got a chocolate dipped donut the Oreo Dream, I think is what it was called, donut. And then this is like a strawberry confetti. And then I got an iced coffee. Um, I've never had Tim Hortons coffee before and Gary doesn't drink coffee, so he got their lemonade. What do you think? It's not bad, it's a really kind of crunchy fried donut uh, with a little bit of Oreo on top of it. I think it, 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 it kind of tastes really good. It's kind of surprising. And it looks like it has a little bit of filling in it. Awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna try the strawberry confetti. It's very sweet. It's not bad. It's very sweet, it's very strawberry, but it is a little, I would say it's dry, like, it, like it's been sitting in the case for a while, but it's honestly, it's not bad. Overall, it doesn't look bad. Um, it definitely looks like a very simple sandwich that was like thrown together, so let's give this a bite. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright, so this is just sort of the standard chocolate dip donut. I figured I'd give it a try because I kind of want to get the understanding of like where it ranks with like Duncan and stuff. So I figured I'd take this one. It's it's not a bad size. It's it's a decent size donut. It's probably about the same size as a as a Dunkin' Donuts donut though. So the chocolate on top is really good, and the um, the dough for the donut tastes a little sweet. Yeah, I like it a lot, but it is very. Very similar to Dunkin' Donuts Donuts. Alright, so I've never had Tim Hortons coffee before. Um, so I'm kind of excited to try this, but I'm also a little nervous because I really like Starbucks. I also like Dunkin', so we'll see if this... And it's this, I believe, I just got a vanilla iced coffee, so nothing super fancy. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so we just wrapped up finishing eating Tim Hortons for the first and probably last time because I don't believe they have them out west and I would say I probably would give it a 5 out of 10. I wouldn't say that it was like the best donuts I've ever had in my entire life but they were actually pretty good. The one that Gary had, the Oreo, <coughs> I really enjoyed that one. Um, I thought that one tastes the best out of all three. My strawberry one was really, really sweet. It was a little too sweet. I didn't end up finishing it. My sandwich was pretty good, but I felt like it was something I could have made at home. But I have to say for me being as hungry as I am right now, it, it was perfect. It actually was fine. And the chocolate dip donut was actually really good as well. Um, but I really like the Oreo one the best. The iced coffee was actually pretty good. I drank about half of it and I think it should help kick in for the next four hours of our drive until it gets dark again. That little bit of caffeine boost and Gary's Lemonade, I think if it had been a little stronger would have been a lot better, but it wasn't bad. So I'd say again, Tim Hortons, probably a five out of 10, middle of the road. What did you think? So what I, I think I, I agree with Nacy pretty much everything. I think it's about, it's a middle of the road donut shop. I think it's a little bit better than Dunkin' in my opinion, if you wanted to compare it to sort of like a comparable option. I think the Tim Hortons is a little bit better. The uh, Oreo donut was the best uh, that we had. I think the uh, the chocolate glazed one was actually a lot better than the strawberry. The strawberry was just too sweet. Like it was just too sweet. Uh, and, and the uh, chocolate covered one kind of reminded me of like in the early 90s when Dunkin' Donuts actually made their donuts in each of their shops back in 
back in the day. Uh, that kind of what that one reminded me of, the chocolate dipped one. So I, I kind of like that one a lot too. Nacia sandwich, like she said, was just kind of uh, nothing special. It wasn't bad though. And if you need a quick bite, I would definitely recommend the sandwich because it was, it was good. It was easy to eat. The bread was nice and everything tasted good. It just wasn't anything too fancy. Um, and then the lemonade was just not strong at all. It, it tasted good, but it just really tasted watered down. So I, I think five out of 10 is probably a good rating for that one. Would you ever go back to Tim Hortons again? Uh, if I saw one, uh, I, I would if I was hungry for like a, a donut, but I think that local donuts are significantly better. So I would still probably go to like a local donut, donut place. We're gonna hit the road again. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you out there.